Hi everyone out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being with me today. Um, today I'm going to share with you 15 easy ways to eat more greens. Things like leafy greens and herbs and little ways that we can incorporate them into our diet a little bit more. Greens are so nutritious. They are rich in different minerals like magnesium and calcium. They're a great source of fiber and different antioxidants. Um, and they're just so good for us to be including in our diet regularly. So let's get started. Number one is to start small. So if you are someone who doesn't eat a ton of greens regularly, the best thing that you can do, the best place to start is to start small. And what I mean here is, you know, maybe you're making yourself a sandwich one day and you can add in some romaine lettuce to that sandwich. Or if you wanna switch things up, try something different like a baby spinach in it. Or maybe one night you're making a spaghetti sauce and you can just finely chop up some kale and toss that in. There are so many different kinds of recipes that we may already be making that can totally take a couple of greens added in, like soups or stews or stir fries. Or you could try adding arugula on top of pizza that you are cooking. Number two is to try using leafy greens as a wrap. So you could use collard greens or romaine lettuce can be used as kind of a wrap or a shell. Um, romaine lettuce is really great if you're doing like tacos or fajitas. Now, Colored greens, they do have definitely a, a bit of a stronger, more bitter flavor. Um, so one way that you can go about this is actually, you can try steaming a collard green in a little bit of water and it helps to soften it a little bit. And the steaming helps to make it um, a little bit more palatable. And it goes really great with things like, um, like a pulled chicken. But what I will say here, I do wanna point this out here, that anytime that you are using a leafy green as a wrap alternative, you are gonna be reducing the carbohydrate content. So what I would say here is to add in some extra starch to your wrap, such as adding some rice or some sweet potato or other kind of potato because it'll help to make it more filling. Number three is to try some sauces like pesto or chimichurri. We love chimichurri, it is so delicious. If you've ever had chimichurri before, it's a um, parsley kind of sauce made with lemon and garlic. It's really, really good. Same with pesto. I love basil pesto. This is made with fresh basil and usually a type of nut like a pine nut. If you wanted to, you could even up it a little bit more by adding a little extra spinach to them or, or kale or arugula to a pesto um, just to add some extra greens to them. Number four is to try a spinach hummus. So if you are someone who really likes hummus and you buy um, just pre-made hummus from the grocery store that you like to have as a dip, what you could do if you want is take that hummus and add it to your blender and blend it up with a small handful of spinach. It'll make it kind of green, but it's a great way to add some extra greens into kind of that, um, that particular food. Or you could definitely try making your own homemade hummus, which is really easy to do. It's only a few ingredients, just some chickpeas. You can get, you know, use canned chickpeas, some lemon, some garlic, some tahini, and you can add some spinach into it when you are blending it up. Number five is to try kale chips. Um, we love kale chips. They are really easy to make. I know that they've been, you know, a really popular thing in the past, but um, so easy to make. I do have a recipe for how to make them on my blog, but basically all you do is you take kale, you just roughly chop it up, you uh, mix together some olive oil, some salt. Um, you could do any other kind of seasoning if you want to, like cumin or paprika or smoked paprika um, or chili powder, and you just bake them in the oven for a little while and they crisp up really nicely. They make a really nice snack. Super easy to do and flavorful and a great way to use kale. Number six is to make an omelet. Omelets are such a great way to add in some greens. If you're an egg lover like me, I love my eggs. Great in the morning. Omelets are such a fantastic way to just generally get some more veggies in. So usually I like to do um, some baby tomato. You can do garlic and onion. And I'll chop up either some kale or some collard greens. I'll just kind of finely chop it and add that into the mixture and make a delicious omelet. You could do this with um, scrambled eggs too if you wanted, but omelets are 
such a great way to just get in some veggies, really easy to make. They only take like five minutes um, and they're delicious. Number seven, this one is a classic, but I wanted to mention it in this video and that is to make a smoothie. Now you could definitely do a green smoothie that's you know bright green, but really any other kind of smoothie like one made with berries or strawberries, you name it, can often handle a little bit of added greens. Now if you're worried about greens affecting the flavor of your smoothie, then I would do two things. First thing I would do is just use a little bit. Don't put a huge handful into uh, the blender, just do a little bit. And secondly, try using a milder green like a baby spinach as opposed to a kale that definitely has a stronger flavor. I have all kinds of smoothie recipes over on my blog, so I will leave um, them linked below, ones that have greens and other kinds, so you can check those out. Number eight is to try, this is very similar to making a smoothie, but this is to try um, a green juice. Now you don't need a juicer to make a green juice. You can actually do it in your blender. You can make a blender green juice and it's actually really easy to do and they can still be really delicious. Some really nice mixtures are things like pineapple and cucumber and celery and mint with ginger, green apple. Um, these are actually really, really nice tasting. When you pour it over ice, you can maybe blend it with some coconut water to sweeten it a little bit. Um, and it's very refreshing. It's great in the spring or summer. Number nine is to use the tops of different vegetables, the kind of the leafy tops. So things like beet greens or carrot tops or even celery tops. These are absolutely, uh, <laughs> whoa. Tried to say edible, but it couldn't, didn't come out. Tried, tried, but it didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. The tops are very edible, edible. So you can definitely make use of them like you would any other kind of green. You could saute them, you could steam them, you could add them to soups or stews or stir fries. They're still very nutritious and a great way to get, again, some of those extra greens. You can even add them to, um, to a sauce like a pesto. Number 10. This is a fun one, and this is to try microgreens, so sprouts. There's so many different kinds of sprouts to, to explore. Broccoli sprouts, uh, mung bean sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, sunflower sprouts. There's tons of them, and they are loaded with enzymes, protein, so different amino acids, vitamins and minerals, um, and plenty of antioxidants. You can definitely sprout some sprouts, <laughs> some microgreens at home yourself. I do have instructions on my blog of how to um, make your own broccoli sprouts at home, but you can also uh, just buy a lot of them. You can get pre-made sprouts at your grocery store, depending on the store. You can definitely um, buy them from there too, and you can use them in a lot of different ways. So add them to your sandwiches, add them on top of salads. You can use them as kind of a garnish. Number 11 is to try a green that you have never tried before. Or. This is a great way to just explore some new ones or ones that you haven't had in a while. When we think of leafy greens, we often, you know, maybe we get into the routine of having a lot of the same ones. Maybe we always buy romaine lettuce or we always buy spinach or kale, but there's other kinds of things that we can try as well more often, like green cabbage or Asian greens like bok choy. This is a wonderful green to try. I actually love sauteing up chopped bok choy with some shiitake mushrooms. It's really, really tasty. Number 12 is to use greens as a garnish. And specifically, the best way to do this is with herbs, fresh herbs that are so flavorful, like basil, cilantro. I love chopping up cilantro and adding it to fajitas, burrito bowls, tacos, so good. Um, parsley is really great as kind of a garnish on, um, on a delicious soup. Did I say basil? Because basil is really good. Really good on omelets too, actually. Um, mint is also a great one as well. Number 13 is to try a greens powder. So, um, I mean, you could definitely do a powdered, like mixed greens that you can buy from the store. But another great one is spirulina. If you've never before heard of spirulina, it is a blue-green algae that is loaded with plant-based protein and B vitamins and iron, different minerals. And I don't recommend, you know, 
getting the bulk of your vegetable or green intake from um, a mixture of like a greens powder, but it can still be a great way to get in some additional greens into your diet if you are really busy and you're just looking for something that's really easy to maybe add to a smoothie or into water or something like that. Number 14 is to keep greens handy in your freezer. Making use of your freezer here is really helpful. Whether you have greens in your fridge that you're just not quite using up quick enough, throw them in your freezer so that you can use them for um, like at a, a, at a later date. Um, but also you can even buy frozen greens. You can buy frozen spinach, other kinds of frozen leafy greens, or even just when you buy them, freeze them yourself so that they're there when you need them. And that way you don't have to worry about them going bad quite as quickly because you can just store them in your freezer. And they're great if you're in a pinch, you can toss them into whatever whatever recipe you're making or into a smoothie, and it's a great way to just have them on hand. And number 15, I wanted to include this point here because it really can be a way to help make eating greens a lot easier for us, and that is to plan to eat them. So incorporate greens as part of a weekly meal plan, which is something that I personally do. I do weekly meal planning every single week. And um, when we plan for using specific kinds of ingredients, we're much better able to actually make use of them and not have them go to waste as opposed to, let's say, buying a bunch of greens, putting them in your fridge, and then not really knowing what to do with them, and then they, they end up going bad. So actually plan for it. Write it down, a couple of recipes that you want to try this week or next week, and then buy the greens in accordance with you know a couple of recipes so that you're much more likely to make use of them. And that is it for today's video. Video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned a thing or two on ways to eat more greens easily and incorporate them more into your day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. And I will see you in the next one.